This is an auto start eliminator kit. Uh, I bought it for a 2021 Subaru Forester. Um, it was $35. Uh, no real brand name. Came from China. The first step to uh, installing this auto start eliminator kit appears to be uh, removing this uh, panel right here. In order to do that, I'm going to stick the tool right here. And looks like it's already coming out. And here's the panel. Tool looks a little bit worse for wear, but still serviceable. All right, the uh, side panel is now off. And the next written instructions is to unplug the factory socket behind a off button. But if we look here at the instructions, we can see the guy holding a screwdriver and an arrow here. If we look over here, we see that the uh, screws right here that we need to remove before we can access this A off button. And here's the uh, fuse panel and we're just gonna go ahead and remove this door to make that a little bit easier, have a place to have a handhold. There we go, screws now removed. And let's see, looks like we can gently tug on this. And there we go. Appears to have loosened that up. Okay, pulling this back a little bit. Uh, this plug right here is going to be our traction control, and the A off, the auto start, will be the second plug right here. Uh, please note there's another row of buttons up here. You don't want to touch those. So we're going to go ahead and try and unplug this guy. Okay, it looks like it's fairly easy. All you have to do is tug back on this. And that pulls that down. And here we go, we have the plug. So we're gonna have to take uh, this end of the plug and meet it with that one. And then on the other side of this cable, we're gonna plug that into the switch. But first, we're gonna have to undo this uh, wire tie. All right, first thing, I'm gonna feed the uh, fuse down into this hole here. And then I'm going to wire in the auto start eliminator. I'm going to have to put the uh, phone down in order to install this uh, eliminator. Here we go. Might be a little bit difficult to see, but we can see that the uh, eliminator has been installed. The uh, plugs are keyed so that you can't put them in up upside down. And there doesn't seem to be any significant locking mechanism to them. Simply uh, pull out to uh, remove the uh, uh, connector and uh, push in uh, the 
auto start eliminator into both uh, this connection over here and then into the wiring harness. And then we make sure the fuse connection is where we can reach it. Okay, here's the uh, fuse that uh, we need to take out and install the uh, electrical lead into. Uh, the uh, included uh, fuse tool that they provided is utterly garbage. And it's this guy right here. I tried. I'm not able to get it. So, instead... I'm going to use this tool here, or you can use a pair of needle nose. I just couldn't find mine right at the moment. And there we have it. I decided to since it didn't work, have the uh, 7.5 uh, amp fuse in the spot where the uh, purple 3 amp fuse is. I decided to go back to the original configuration of the uh, 3 amp with the 10 amp. I'm not sure why they would uh, significantly increase the amperage of the fuses uh, for the auto start and eliminator. But I guess I'm going to throw the dice and uh, trust that that um, whoever built this knew what they were doing. All right, they were a little too generous in the uh, amount of uh, lead that they provided you, so I uh, put a twist tie around the wire to shorten it up a little bit so it doesn't hang down below the dash. And now we're just going to insert this. Right in the... And here it is installed. So now... Before I put everything back together, let's give this a try. And here we go. Now it's supposed to turn off in about three to five seconds. And there we have it. Auto start has been disabled. And just to show that there's no trickery, I'm going to shut it off again. Here's the key. As you can see, the key has been inserted in the ignition. In the lower left corner, you can see the A off button, and I'm nowhere near it. Start the car. And if we watch, there it goes. Auto start has been disabled. And if we go down here and press the A off button, and if we can get the focus A off, the auto start has been re enabled. Confusingly, with the slash through the A. Now that we've tested that it works, Let's reassemble it by simply moving this back into position, giving it a gentle push, and we hear click into place. And reinstall the screw. Looks like we can actually go by hand most of the way. Sorry, I'm right-handed and using my left hand to do this. Don't need to go overly tight. And let's see. According to this, 
the uh, fuse that we're tapping into is meter IG. All right, so we'll just simply pop this back into place like that. Take your panel. Everything still looks good. And simply align it to all the spots in the dash and simply gently massage it until it pops into place. There we go. And that is it. That is a 2021 Subaru Forester with the auto start uh, disabled.